Ever wonder where we all come from? What if I told you that every single person alive today, all eight billion of us, shares one common ancestor? A single mother, in a way. Sounds a bit like a sci-fi movie, right? But it's a real fascinating scientific concept known as mitochondrial Eve. Now hold on, this doesn't mean she was the first woman ever or the only woman alive at the time. Not at all. It's a story written in our DNA, specifically in our mitochondria. These are the tiny powerhouses inside our cells, and they have their own special DNA called mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA for short. Here's the cool part. You only inherit mtDNA from your mother. Your dad's mtDNA doesn't get passed on. So, your mtDNA is a direct copy of your mother's, which is a copy of her mother's, and her mother's and so on, tracing an unbroken female line all the way back through history. Think of it like a last name that only daughters can pass down. Over thousands of generations, many of these female lineages simply ended by chance. Some women may have only had sons, or maybe they didn't have any children at all. Their unique mtDNA line stopped with them. But one line, just one, survived and branched out to eventually reach every person living today. That's the line of mitochondrial Eve. So, who was she? Scientists have traced her back to Africa, living somewhere between 150,000 and 200,000 years ago. She was part of a thriving community of early humans, surrounded by thousands of other people. She wasn't special in her time. She's only special to us now because her genetic legacy is the only one that made it through the long, winding lottery of history. And what about the guys? Is there a Y chromosome Adam? Yes, there is. The Y chromosome is passed down from father to son. But here's a twist. Scientific evidence shows that Y chromosome Adam lived at a completely different time than mitochondrial Eve, likely tens of thousands of years later. They never met. So humanity's story isn't a simple tree with one trunk. It's more like a beautifully complex braided river. Countless streams have flowed into our modern gene pool, but when we trace that one specific thread of mitochondrial DNA, it leads us all back to one woman in ancient Africa. We all carry a tiny piece of her within our cells, connecting us as one vast, diverse human family. Pretty incredible, right? If you enjoyed this journey into our shared past, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into science and history. Thanks for watching.